Hi, I'm Jane Slicer-Smith and I live in Sydney, Australia and run a label Signature Hand Knits and Signature Knitting Kits. I travel and teach in the USA and UK each year, teaching colourful things like intarsia and mitres. I also love to work with texture and I do fit and style classes. I love knitting and I love colour and today I'd like to share some of my design work in mitres and demonstrate how easy this technique is. A new design for 2013 is a mitre poncho. This is created with a panel of 25 mitres. This can be worn front, back or on the side. It's a great poncho design. Mitres are simply striped garter stitch with a decrease. Slip one, knit one, pass the slip stitch over, centre of every right side row. Another option is to treat a mitre as a diamond, creating panels using full and half mitres. Let me show you how simple mitres are, including picking up stitches. Here we are at the very start of mitre one. This is a point often people ring me up or email me and say it just looks weird. It's not right. Be assured it is. And until you get a little bit further on with your mitre, you won't actually get to see the shape forming fully. But if you stop part way through and look, place your needles into a, a 90 degree angle to one another, you'll actually start to see what's happening. So this is a reassurance as you go, place your needles like this, and that's how your mite is going to look when it's completed. Working a centre decrease is as simple as slip one, knit two together and pass the slip stitch over. We work this every right side row over the mitre. A wrong side row is simply knit back, giving us garter stitch. When working stripes, simply carry your yarn up the edge of the mitre. Don't carry it too tight. Work to your centre, slip one, knit two together and pass your slip stitch over. So you can start to see the mitre forming in its shape. We've completed mitre one, now we're looking to work mitre two. We're working with 21 stitches, so I'm picking up 10 stitches not in your standard method of pick up and knit. I'm using the point of my needle and I'm running it right to left across the stripes, picking up one stitch or one thread from the knitting per stripe of my garter. So that will give me 10 stitches because I have 10 stripes. I firstly knit those. So this is the knit part of the pick up. I'll knit 10 stitches. We're working with 21 stitches. So we require an extra stitch being picked up which will come from the cast on edge of the first mitre. That will give us 11 stitches and we will cast on the remaining 10 stitches. I find I get a much nicer edge by picking up this 11 stitches or the half plus the one and casting on the remaining stitches. The cast on will give us back to our 21 stitches. The pick up counts as row one of the stripe. We create mitres by knitting strips, so lengths of mitres. Here we've knitted two, and now I'm going to add width to it. So I'm casting on this time my 10 stitches. When I've cast on my 10 stitches, I'll pick up the 11 stitches from the edge of mitre one. So again, just double check. We needed 10 stitches. We'll now pick up, and I'll use my left hand needle, and I'm picking up from that striped edge, starting with that first dark grey one that belongs to mitre one, picking up and running my needle through the bump of each garter ridge and then picking up an extra one from the cast on. So that will be 11 stitches and we knit the stitches straight from our cast on to our mitre. We have a tail, so let's knit that tail in as we go. So I'm insert to knit, find your tail, lay it in the path of your work, insert to knit and the tail is going backwards and forwards. I'm bringing it over the needle but never be tempted to place it between the needles. It's coming over the needle, I knit it and you can see it's being caught into the back of the work and you can see as I'm working it I'm laying it into the path of the yarn that I'm knitting with and this is what traps it into the back of your work.
So we've completed the first three mitres. One, two, three. The last one was cast on, pick up, decreased, all in the same manner. Number four is between three, picking up the centre from one, and the last ten stitches from mitre two. And that will make our square of four mitres. Mitres are also created on the diagonal. So this has been mitre one, which is cast on, and then you're picking up a half a mitre. So when you're working a half a mitre, it's a knit two together the end of the right side row. So you can start to see how we create garments that have got a hemline that's zigzagged with mitres. So this would be mitre three, and mitre four would sit between mitre three and mitre one and it will grow on the diagonal, quite different to making it in strips of squares. The Coco Shawl panel is knitted in mitres on the diagonal. So we start with the first mitre being cast on and decreased, and our next mitre we pick up along the edge of that and our decrease is knit two together the end of right side rows. Mitre three is knit two together beginning of right side rows, allowing us to pick up mitre four, mitre five, knit two together the end of right side rows, mitre six, knit two together the beginning of right side rows and we pick up mitre seven. So we can build panels of mitres. Really important that the centre stitch is picked up from the centre of, of the mitre below. The sleeve of the Coco Shawl panel has mitres as a trim cuff. So we're working mitre one, two, three, four, five, and then six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's half mitres and half horizontal mitres as well. We pick up stitches from this, work a colour trim and then work up into the sleeve. The Coco Shell cardigan is knitted in mitre panels. Then stitches are picked up and worked firstly to the armhole and then to the side seam. Jester swing is knitted from the chest to the shoulder and then the chest down flowing into the peacock trim on the hemline. The Miami drape has basket stitch fronts which are trimmed with mitres. The two-tone collar is knitted as one with the fronts. This is the first design I created with the vertical zigzag by knitting the mitre panel sideways. I love these draping pieces. The only fit as such is the distance between the armholes. The back kicks out to what I call a fishtail with lots of movement. The mitre tallyho is new for winter 2013. The back mitre panel knitted sideways again for the vertical zigzag striping. Visit www.signet.com for more designs in mitres. See the online newsletters, which includes show dates and venues. If you find yourself in Sydney, pop by the studio and say hello. Shows in Sydney start in March. Knitting classes are, are happening in the USA in April 2013 and in the UK in October 2013. In the last image, that's me on the right. Okay, it's a few years back, but that's allowed. Hope to meet you all along my journey. Bye for now.